what is up you guys this is chris aka thrifty cq and today we are doing some thrifting today hopefully we can find some amazing items hopefully we can get on the juice so that we can make us some money but i'm gonna try to hit as many places as i can uh this is gonna probably give me the last day i'll be able to thrift in a while uh so hopefully i'll be able to find some awesome items so stay tuned guys and you won't be pissed <laughs> You know, I keep forgetting today is Tuesday and it's Seniors Day. Damn, there's a lineup at Valley Village right now. Ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna try to line up. I don't know. It is what it is. I just wanna go thrifting. All right, guys, there's a lineup to Valley Village here. Yeah, it's getting longer. So, hopefully, it goes by. Check it out. There's a lineup over there. We're going in now, guys. You too. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, guys, I found other pops here earlier. I'm going to check to see how much they're worth because, like, they are in pop protectors. So, for them to put them in freaking protectors, you'd think that they'd be worth something. Here. Oh, shit, we got Dance Dance Disney. What's it going for? $4.99. Guys, we are on the juice today. Holy crap. I can't believe how much of a juice we're in right now. We got extreme weather kit going on in here, guys. Damn, oh shit, we got some Mickey ears right here. What we got here? We got a Disney ears with new tags. New tags, it's the BB-8, the BB-8 Star Wars ears. You got it with the tag over there, son. So I put some of those Funkos back. Some of them were like literally weren't worth that much. The hockey players specifically. Uh, I kept two of them because they're probably worth around 30, 40 bucks because I have a pop protector on them. And I found a couple other things too. So I'll show you guys a little later when I get home. D-bag, D-bag right here. Interesting, interesting strategy. Oh, what's this? We got YMCMB. They got the Radica ping pong, man. I have a good feeling though the batteries are gonna be murked in there. I can just tell that there's gonna be something. A few moments later. All right, guys, I'm back from the hall, and let me show you exactly what I picked up. All right, first item I picked up, we have the uh, Funko Pop Winter Soldier number 129. Uh, this one sold for about, or this one sells for about one, or sorry, uh, not one, what am I saying? It sells for about $27, uh, the last comp I checked. This one has a pop protector on it, so I may ask for 30 on it, uh, just because I know you get a specific premium having a pop protector on. So uh, I'm gonna ask for 30 on this one. And I paid, okay, there's no price on here, but I paid uh, $9.99 with 20% off on this. All right guys, the next item I picked up, we have a uh, 187th scale uh, of a garage. And this is for like railroads and dioramas and it's very detailed. It's brand new in the box, little bit of wear on it, but it's brand new. I got it for $3.99 with 20% off. And uh, I tried to take a look at comps on this. I couldn't find one exactly like this, but I did find a similar one uh, that looked kind of like this and it was brand new as well. And that one sold for about $29. So I may ask for probably about 29, I don't know, 30, 35 bucks for this thing over here. And again, I paid $3.99 with 20% off for this bad boy. 
All right, next item I picked up. I love finding filters, guys. I don't know what it is, but I can always find them and I can always sell them. So I'm gonna keep picking them up. But this one is the, uh, it's the Whirlpool Refrigerator Ice and Water Filter. Uh, it's the Pure and the number is 439-6508. And this guy over here, uh, I mean, I paid, what did I pay for this? Why is there no prices on this? What the heck? I, I know how much I paid for it. It was like $4.99 with 20% off. And this goes for probably between 25 and 30 bucks. And this will sell. I guarantee it will sell. They always sell. All right, next thing I picked up, this is the Poly Pocket Too Cool at the Pocket Plaza. And I paid $7.99 with 20% off on this. This one goes for, uh, I mean, the last one I sold, I checked was uh, about $26. I'm gonna ask between that, between $26 and $30 on this. It's brand new sealed. And yeah, hopefully this will sell quick. All right, guys, the next item I picked up, this is the Mega Blocks uh, Power Rangers Super Samurai. The model number of this one is 5824. And I paid $5.99 with 20% off. And uh, again, I love finding Mega Block stuff, Lego stuff that's brand new sealed. They always do well for me, uh, but hopefully, so hopefully this one will do well. This one, uh, the last sold I found, it went for about 20, I think it was $21, but there's probably about five other listings right now and they go for over $30. So I'm probably going to put it at around that price range between 30 and 35. So hopefully I'll be able to get that. All right, next item I picked up, this is a Disney item. It's the Mickey Mouse B, D, was it BB-8? Yeah, BB-8 for the Star Wars guy. Uh, and then it's a hat. And it's new with tag. There, I still have a tag on it. So uh, the last comp I saw on this one goes for about $25. I'm going to ask around that between $25, $30. And I bought this one for $3.99. Oh, oh, where is it? There, wait, wait a minute. There, there you go. $3.99. Sorry about that. $3.99 with 20% off. So hopefully I'll be able to get that. All right, guys. Next thing I picked up. This was... Uh, I'm trying to find bats now. I want to see how they do. I've never sold a bat yet. So uh, I used to play softball or fast pitch. And um, this was a nice one. Uh, unfortunately, the grip is a little worn. May need to be re-gripped here. But uh, this is the Easton Havoc. And it's the uh, SZ900, and it's a 34 inch, 30 ounce. Uh, I tried looking for comps on this, and uh, I mean, I saw a lot of the 28 inch one. Uh, that one goes for about 35 used. Uh, so this one, uh, I mean, I'm probably gonna ask maybe between 40 and 50 bucks. It does need to probably be uh, like regripped, so it might be between 40 bit more lower to the $40 mark instead uh but I don't know Co can you leave a comment below just let me know if you ever sell bats uh that don't have that great a grip is it worth it to get it re-gripped or just sell it as is so let me know in the comments I'm really curious all right so I did pick up another bat uh this is the Louisville Slugger Dynasty uh the model on this one is SB306 uh this is a 34 inch bat at 30 ounces i'll show it to you right here bam tps and it's a dynasty anyways this thing needs to be probably regripped again unfortunately it, it's not the worst i mean it's in it's in a lot better shape than the other one uh it may just be the tape here that i could redo but um i couldn't find this one specifically in any of the listings i found similar with the same size uh, bat as well as um, just the same condition as well. Uh, they've been going for, I believe it was between uh, 60 and $70. Uh, this one is a bit rough on the bat side, unless I can just clean it up. Hopefully that'll just be it. Uh, but I may ask probably $40 on this, uh, just in case they need to regrip it. All right, guys, and the last item I was able to pick up, this one seemed pretty crazy because 
it, it's always funny when uh, thrift stores don't really realize what they have. And um, the fact that they put this in this section most likely gave the gave me the idea that they had no idea what it was. So um, this was in the toy section of uh, that Valley Village I went to. And this is the, uh, it's called a Roundhouse. The brand is Roundhouse. Keep that brand in mind. So this is uh, Roundhouse. This is a bunch of coaches for model, like a, like a really small scaled uh, train. And these are actually really good quality. They're like metal pieces and it's very detailed. And when I looked at the price, when someone sold, like where it was whatever sold, it was selling for 84 84 98 guys and this i got this for 5.99 with 20 percent off and like whenever i looked this brand up almost every car i was seeing like brand new was like 80 dollars 90 dollars and then i saw a similar set like this it was like 200 dollars i'm like what the heck this was like must have been something crazy like as soon as I looked it up over there I was like oh man I don't think this is a toy like this is not a, seriously not but um this is the Canadian Pacific uh Overton set it is the baggage combine coach business car and it's a set of four brand new sealed guys but the box is a little bit on the uh the, the ghetto side but I'll take that any day so this thing I could not find comps on this four pack I did find one for one and brand new uh one of them goes for about 30 to 35 dollars so because I have four in them I'm probably gonna ask probably between 100 and 150 bucks I'm just gonna throw it out there you never know so <laughs> I, I'm it's crazy Look at this brand, I'm telling you, and you'll see how crazy these prices are. So in total, guys, I paid about $50 for all of these items. Uh, that's probably with the coupons and stuff. Before the fees and taxes, I'm hoping I can get about 405 to 415 in sales. So from 50 to around $400, I think that's a great return. Again. As much as I want to find inventory, I, I'm still being super picky at thrift stores. I do want to make a certain amount on each item. Uh, and I'm just trying to make sure I can keep my average sale price up as well. Anyways, guys, that is it for now. If you like these types of videos where when I'm going into the thrift stores and just giving you a little bit of my analyzing of the items, uh, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And also don't forget to hit that bell so you know when another fire video is coming out. All right, guys, if you have any questions, always, always, always don't forget. You can leave a comment below. Uh, and then also you can always leave a comment or message me on Instagram at thriftbcq. And... That is everything for this thrift haul. Hopefully, I'll be able to go on another one soon. And uh, from there, I'll document that and we'll see what happens. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is Thrift BCQ signing out. Peace out, guys.